It takes vision, knowing where the puck's going, and getting there fast. It takes future vision to be a winner, in the arena and in the world of manufacturing. Today, in the blink of an eye, information flies the continents. Electronic commerce, the information highway, the global marketplace. These aren't just buzzwords, but realities, changing the way we do business. Manufacturing now has the chance to solve the problems of dissimilar computer systems, problems that cause errors, create waste, and slow product development. In today's world, there will be no manufacturers left who are not agile. It's changing so very fast that you don't want to lock yourself in to any particular system. So therefore, you need standards like STEP, which are focused on interfacing. STEP, it's the new international standard for the exchange of product model data. And it's no longer somebody's dream. We decided to send the STEP file, just cold, no dialogue prior to that, to HP folks in Germany. They read it in, made some revisions to it, sent it back to us, and we read it in it, and as a solid with no, no fix-up needed or anything. I came over, he goes, you got to see this. Come over to Jim's Cube. It was actually the first day we just started communications with, with HP with their solid designer system. And here, all, all of a sudden, so quickly, we were actually exchanging solid data. But could it work in the real world? The first product data exchange using STEP was made with a connecting rod between Ford Powertrain and DOE Allied Signal. Mark Toko of Ford Powertrain led Ford's effort. I think it eloquently proved the point that real parts can be made uh, on the basis of STEP technologies. And I think the key for us was that we didn't go out and buy a million dollars worth of equipment to translate this connecting rod. We used the equipment we already had. Once we got that part translated, into our system, it was business as usual. And our people said it was just, it was fabulous geometry. It was, it was perfect geometry. The, the evolution of the, the step down down and the evolution. And now, throughout the world, CAD vendors such as Unigraphics, Computer Vision, and Dassault are working together to satisfy their customers' needs for step products. We have tremendous pressure from our customers to accelerate our step activities. Our companies cannot achieve their competitive objectives uh, without uh, the availability of much more effective uh, data exchange capability. PETIS Inc. is one consortium accelerating the implementation of STEP. You're moving away from communicating via drawings to communicating via data. They bring together 24 of the world's leading technology corporations and the federal government in an effort to integrate STEP into the way real work is done. I think we've got to be very careful in not implying that STEP is a, is a miracle cure-all. Um, it requires work, you have to understand it, you have to format the data correctly, you'll need expertise and you'll need people that understand how to use it. After you made the changes there, you just, uh, just a notification came to him and then he actually pulled the file from yes. there? Is that what happened? Okay. So we're really pressing technology here, well, or at least our luck the anyway. The was successful. Without something like STEP, this kind of integrated computing in an organization just couldn't happen. There'd be too many interfaces to write. The other thing that STEP will do for you is in the past, what Ford and other companies had to do was buy a CATIA to STL translator, or an ARIES to STL translator, or a CV to STL translator. Now they can, all they need is a step to SDL translator, and if all those systems put out step data, they've saved that many special processors down the line. Another pilot, the National Center for Manufacturing Sciences, a consortium of 180 small, medium, and large manufacturers, is spearheading the Rapid Response Manufacturing Program. Using step, GM Saginaw Division and Ford are working to exchange unigraphic solid models with Ford's PDGS system and MSC Ares. Saginaw's choice is between proprietary translators or making STEP their neutral format. But the direct translators are difficult to maintain. Number two, they're uh, sometimes very questionable. And number three, as versions of software change, they have to be continually rewritten. I think STEP is probably the only thing on the horizon that even has the the hope of 
of even beginning to solve this problem. And Saginaw isn't alone. Most major U.S. and European automakers have specified STEP as the direction for data exchange. Now, GM's Dye Management Group is pushing STEP implementation further, employing Level 3 integration, a database shared with business as well as with design and manufacturing. I don't believe before STEP you could say that whether it's engineering data or financial data, it can reside in harmony with each other in the same database. Now we can. That's where things have to move, uh, to level three, because that's what truly supports concurrent engineering. Real-time information access as you need it, when you need it, what you need. It's the first standard that truly recognizes the information age. And the Automotive Industry Action Group also recognizes its significance. They're helping their 800-member companies make STEP the capstone of the new global way of partnering. The first paperless airplane, the Boeing 777. It's based totally on digital models. Boeing has a target to start the first large-scale version of STEP mid-95. So if you're a new business with Boeing, I would suggest that you start looking into and start embracing STEP concepts. Boeing has started with their three engine suppliers, GE, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce, and their CAD vendors. Called AeroStep, this project requires delivery of product data in the step-neutral format. And they're beginning to make real breakthroughs. Recently, we've begun to see what we hope to see, actual geometry that looks like what we know it's supposed to be. So we're very excited. It's working. We are inches away from being there, we feel. And what do Boeing suppliers think about STEP? We'd like to get out of the translator business. We'd love to get into the STEP neutral file business so that no matter what, no matter who we're working with, we can send them a STEP file and they'll be able to read it into their CAD system and use it. Looking to reduce the waste of translators, Pratt & Whitney adopted a single CAD system. But still we have the problem where our customers do not have the same CAD CAM systems like we do. And the biggest problem is that we have these small CAD CAM companies coming up with point solutions. And these point solutions are very good, say, for NC programming or five-axis milling. So it becomes business sense to get these uh, point solutions. But the bigger problem is to actually translate the geometry to go in and out of these point solutions. And STEP is the way to go. STEP is the way to go. It's a standard with dual use, commercial and military. Consider the Lockheed Boeing partnership, teamed on the latest fighter jet, the F-22. We can most effectively operate as a corporation if we have the flexibility to form these relationships as necessary for the different product opportunities that arise. And STEP permits us to do that in a very effective manner. And their strong commitment in the UK. British Aerospace recently stated, the time has come to move forward with STEP. And STEP covers more than just mechanical systems. In electronics, STEP now supports data exchange between design and manufacturing of printed circuit assemblies. Apparel, construction, and process industries are also making headway, bringing the advantages of STEP to all. Once before, we seized an opportunity, opening markets never before imagined. Competitors cooperated, developing common practices for the common good. It took work, it took commitment, and it took a future vision. Step is here, it's working. It's now right on the brink of, of exploding into use. The door has been opened. And we just have to do the work now. It's catching on. And like most things that are the right answer, it will rapidly be adopted. <laughs>